All right. I will call the Lakeville Park Commission meeting to order on Thursday, June 4th, 2020 at uh, 641 p.m. In accordance with governor's order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law relating to the 2020 novel coronavirus outbreak emergency, May 20th, 2020 public meeting of the Lakeville Park Commission shall be physically closed to the public to avoid group congregation. However, to view this meeting in progress, please go to facebook.com slash lakecam. Uh, this meeting will be recorded and available to be viewed at a later date at www.lakecam.tv. As a preliminary matter, this is Joe Kasha, Commissioner of the Lakeville Park Commission, filling in for Scott Holmes, the Chairman. Permit, permit me to confirm all, that all members, staff, and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Commissioners, may I call your name? Please respond in the affirmative. Jesse Medford. Affirmative. Mike Nolan. Aye. Nellie Woodburn. Here. Okay. Uh, okay, we have no speakers this evening. So, this open meeting of the Leafville Park Commission is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of COVID-19 virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in publicly accessible physical locations. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order which we can, which we can find posted with agenda materials for this meeting allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations on the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will not feature public comment. For this meeting, the Lakeville Park Commission is convening by video conference via Zoom as posted on the town's website. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and take care not to share screen, share screen your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All supporting materials have been provided. Members of the body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda unless I note otherwise. We are now turning to the first item on the agenda. But before we do so, permit me to cover some ground rules for effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate meeting minutes. I will introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude the remarks, the chair will go down the line of members, inviting each by name to provide any comment questions or motion. Please hold until your name is called. <clears throat> Excuse me, further, please remember to mute your phone or computer when you are not speaking. Please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in colloquy with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify yourself. Finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by roll call vote. With that done, we can begin our meeting. Um, start with old business. Meeting minutes, Nellie. We have the meeting minutes from the last time that was sent out by every uh, by Nellie to everybody. Did everybody get those? Yeah, I got them. Okay, was it, were any additions, deletions, changes anybody wants to make? Same thing. Nelly, I got a couple. I got a couple uh, typos to correct. Uh oh. Um. Uh, you get them in front of you. Yeah. Okay. Page two, right by the bottom, um, the third line up, right above the it says motion by Jesse Medford. Right above it says Chairman Holmes overviewed the fees. I'm assuming that means reviewed the fees. Yes. Okay. Next page. Sixth line down. Uh, the sentence that starts, Mr. Berry provide his expertise on the all. I think give it the first the. Yeah. Scott, Scott is here now. Right. And just scroll down, Nelly, halfway through the page, uh, about eight lines up in the middle section. It says um, some maintenance applicants stated both TWC and CPP since they has no pre preference. I think it has to be have. 
That, that's all I have. Okay, updated. Anybody else any changes? I had nothing else. Mike, you're on mute. Uh, we will just make an motion that we accept the minutes min uh, the minutes as amended. Second. Okay, now that Mr. Holmes has joined us, let's give him a moment. It says he has no video or audio. So I'm not sure what's wrong with his connection right now. Might be better off carrying on until he says that um, he's able to join or if he's having problems. Okay, uh, I guess let's go with any, any old business. Well, we need to vote on the minutes. Oh, I thought we just did, didn't we? No. You seconded, oh. but no vote. Oh. Okay. Um, Cool. Everybody, everybody in favor of minutes passing as, as revised? Jesse? Uh, aye. Mike? Aye. The ayes have it. Okay, well, well just on the, under the old business, any old business to review before we get to the main topic? I had one quick question, Joe. Um, actually, Finelli, are we going to meet again before the elections? Do you think we'll be meeting before the 16th? That's a good question. Um, I don't know if we need to. No, I, I mean, I can make sure that we're all on the same um, page as the uh, town clerk, but uh, uh, unless anybody has some is concerns. I just want to make sure she has whatever she needs and can get in there and we are in agreement as far as um, cleaning up afterwards. Yeah, did we get an answer on that? Are they taking care of that? I I haven't spoken to her. Uh, I called and they I think I called when they were when it must have been a Friday afternoon. So I didn't uh, I didn't get through. But I can follow up on that. Yeah, you or I, either, either way. There he is. Hey. Yeah, he's coming. <laughs> Mike, what qu one question for you is what about, uh, I think phase two is going to be announced, is it this weekend? All right. So do we need to have any discussion after that? To see if anything changes? Well, I mean, should we have a meeting to discuss what happens at, at phase two? I, it's my understanding that the, the, the governor has put out his list of things, but the, the town definite, uh, isn't definitely um, exactly following, you know, exactly his guidelines. So we'll have to check with the town and the Board of Health, Board of Selectmen, what they're going to allow us to open up, I think. But I have uh, Horseshoes and Pickleball and all those guys want to start. And um, we need to give them some answers pretty quick. Yeah. So. Mr. Holmes, welcome. We yield back to you. We just Thank did you. them. We did the minutes, and we did the old business. Nelly, did they did they read the script? Yes, I Joe did. Joe did. <laughs> That's a mouthful, isn't it? Oh, it sure is. <laughs> That's why you're late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I wish that was the problem. Uh, see, now Jesse's the only one who hasn't done the script. Oh, <laughs> next time. Yeah. Well, I'll be late and let you do it. <laughs> um, it, just uh, as I caught that last question you were asking, um, yeah, I think we have to, um, even though the governor will declare certain things, I think we still have to get the okay from Board of Health in Town Hall. Um, but yeah, um, I was stopped by the uh, camp last night and had a conversation with the horseshoe players. Um, they're ready to go.
But anyhow, um, so uh, tomorrow morning I have a, a, a department head meeting and I will ask that question then. Um, is there anything that we need to do or do we just send out an email blast on Monday as soon as he says that's okay, that it's okay? Or do we have to wait from um, town hall and board of health? Because uh, in phase two, the only ones that will be able to play a game will be pickleball, horseshoes, and um, tennis. Uh, the other courts, um, soccer, baseball, football, lacrosse, any of those, they're considered a contact sport. They can't play. They cannot have any contact. They can only run drills. That's all they can do at this point in phase two. Um, what about I, was like, reading, I was reading the paperwork today. Scott, what about like practices like for softball? I got people asking me to want to practice over there. Drills. Okay. There can be no contact. They can't have no, inter no. they can't have inter squad scrimmages. They can't have inter team scrimmages. They can't play games. They can run drills. No contact is the as, as like the last one. It was you know no no common um, equipment. This big one is um, no contact. So in any of those, and it spells out those baseball, softball, lacrosse, football, you know, all of those, it spells them out. And it says that they, um, uh, maybe I can find it while we're, while we're uh, going on the meeting here. Um, I brought some of that work with me. Um, but that's, that's kind of this phase. That's the terminology of this phase. So do you want, you would like to, can you fold that to us? I, 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 I printed it. It, it, it. If you go to, um, yeah, I can forward you the link. Yeah, that's um, all. Yep. Yeah. And you got to find it. You got to search. You got to search yeah. down and drill down and drill down till you get to um, open space recreation. And then there's a couple of them that are still still dated May 18th. You got to find the ones that are dated June 1st and June 3rd um, to get the updated for phase two. Um, as far as that goes. Okay. Um, have we had um, any discussion on Claire Pond while I was gone? No, we're saving that for you. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I, 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 just let me. I found I found a piece of it, and it says programs for contact sports must be limited. Must limit activities exclusively to no contact drills and practices. They cannot inter squad play, and they cannot inter scrimmage play, and they cannot inter team play at this point. So that's phase two. That's phase two for those particular. Um, and then it does go on to say that um, because they can socially uh, uh, be a part and use their own equipment, um, things like tennis, pickleball, and horseshoes um, would be able to play games. It actually says play games. So, but the other ones can't at this point. All right. I will find out tomorrow what the procedure will be to um, go about that. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, the discussion at hand um, is whether or not to open up Clear Pond. Um, uh, Joe and I met yesterday, as you know, and then Joe took the ball and, and ran with it and did a nice job. Um, I forwarded it to you all um, today's Middleborough Gazette. I don't know if you saw that or not uh, from the selectmen's meeting yeah. um, and their take on it. Um, do we have any discussion? Do any, does anybody have anything they want to bring up at the, at the moment? Can we get um... Uh, Jesse's uh, review of, uh, he was the only one that was at the Board of Selectmen meeting last week. Good point. Yeah. Uh, what I got out of it was, uh, you know, they talked about, they did uh, some number crunching, came up with their best guess of uh, what it would cost for maintenance being, uh, was it uh, $40,000 and their projected revenue was only 
$9,000. So they had us at a deficit of $31,000. Uh, and that was just on the cost of uh, maintenance. I mean, uh, 40,000 was for all employees. Um, so they had a deficit of just, just the staff, 40,000, uh, 31,000. Um, and so, you know, the pretty much the whole discussion was just about, you know, uh, all the increased expenses that are coming with the extra precautions that have to be made and how we wouldn't be making nearly the amount of revenue that we usually would make. Um, so they strongly recommended against it. Um, they even said that you know, I just come back stronger in 2021. Um, uh, that's where, and then they, you know, they said, you know, they look forward to hearing from us what we come up with after this meeting. Okay. Um, I suppose we can uh, individually put our points out there. Um, can have a discussion about this, and then, um, and then I think we need to take a vote. Uh, time is of the essence. It's Thursday, June fourth. And we'd be projected to open up in about, I don't know, approximately 20 days if we were to do so. Um, has anybody been in touch with Doug? Do we know how many, if there are any more lifeguards? I mean, last we knew he said there were four or five. Has anybody heard? No? Okay. Um, well, that being said, um, I guess I'll start then. Um, number one, I, I'm still concerned over the um, welfare of our employees, um, putting them in 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 um, in jeopardy, and 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 also for the 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 well-being of the the people at the park. Um, it's going to be difficult to um, be socially distant. Um, Joe and I tried to put up some grid, and. Um, and, and, and you know what it would look like uh, that's going to mean extra work um, I don't see how we're going to be able to have fewer employees um, and make it work um, you're going to have you know probably somebody at the snack dance somebody collecting money um, somebody uh, tending to escorting people on the beach and you might even have to have somebody out in the parking lot making sure people aren't parking next to each other I don't know um, you know I mean, that doesn't sound like fewer employees to me, um, which raises the, raises the red flag to me of possibly increased payroll if we were to try to do this, never mind the cost of, of uh, cleaning and supplies. And then we're going to have to get somebody in there once a week to do a deep clean, which is going to cost us more money um, than we've ever spent before. Um, but again, I, I, I still can't, get by um, putting our, 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 our town, um, town youth in, in jeopardy. Uh, God forbid there's some type of a disaster or some type of an emergency, um, and where's that gonna leave them, um, the decisions they have to make as an 18 or a 19 year old. Um, I guess that's my concern. Um, the money aspect is second to me, but it is still important. And we have to look at that and address that and be fiscally responsible, um, knowing that we're not going to cover our costs. Um, before Claire Pond uh, for the 21 budget, I've estimated us to be approximately a $50,000 loss, uh, which is going to eat away what we have left in retained earnings. Um, thus, the loss of the pond would then fall on the town. And I don't think the town has the money to support us as they are cutting other areas um, in the budget. Um, unfortunately, I, 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 I don't see it happening. That's, that's my two cents. And uh, I'll uh, turn it over to someone else who wants to speak themselves. Well, if you don't mind, I'll speak if you don't mind. Um, what, what I did, I said, you and I, of course, went to the park last night, looked around, see what we could do. Um, I, was trying, we were, I was trying to look at it, I think you were the same way, as what we can do if we were to open. 
what, what could we possibly do to make this happen this year? Um, but I, I, what I did, and I, I sent it to everybody on the, uh, on the call tonight, is I made a listing of some things that I see that restrictions we could put in place if we were to open. Uh, and it, I'll go down those if you'd like. Um, sure. Just some things that I picked up on. And once again, it's not all inclusive, but I think it was, it was just some things to get the discussion going if we wanted to open it. And then I, I, I took a shot at uh, some numbers I ran if we went this way and, and see if we could make it work. So some of the restrictions I, talk, I, I thought we could do at the park is that masks must be worn in all areas of the park, except when on the sand and in the water. So once, once you came through those initial gates, from the parking lot until you get to the sand, we, we require everybody to wear masks. The beach area for parties was would not be used. So we wouldn't have to worry about that extra, extra, extra protection by having group parties. Uh, the bathrooms, we could have the men enter and exit on the west side, women could go on the east side, so there would be no interacting of people. So you could have one person come in the time at each each end at one time. So you wouldn't have everybody going through one door. So it'd be Separate entrances and exits for the men and the women. Concession, concession stand in the payment booth could have a plexiglass shield uh, between the workers and the people coming to the park. Uh, I said there'd be no passes sold, it'd be only pay as you go will be allowed. So no uh, family passes, it'd be just you have to pay the daily rate every time you went to the park. Credit cards would be accepted, would minimize the handling of the cash. Um, we, we, I calculated a maximum number of people that say could be allowed in the park uh, per per day. Once that number was hit, no one else would be allowed in unless some people left. But it'd be a maximum number. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, we talked about on the sand areas, laying out a 12 by 12 section in an aisle, allowing for access to the water itself. Um, all entrance to the park would sign in and provide the name, address, and phone number. In case anything came up, we had to let them know in case there was a... Uh, situation is that they were at the park that day. Uh, the basketball area could be used for small groups, no groups more than 10 people. I think that is allowed presently, so we could have people who use basketball if they wanted to shoot around. The pl playground equipment, um, if you wanted to use it, you probably have to wear masks and we could clean at the end of each day, but we could also just block it off so the kids wouldn't play on that. Miniature golf area could be used if they're wearing masks. Walkways to and from the sand area can be separated for entry and exit. So the way you get into the sand, the beach area and exit, we can move that around so there wouldn't be people wouldn't walk, wouldn't be walking next to each other. The raft, we we could use the raft as long as we maintain social distancing on the raft. I don't know exact dimensions of the raft, but if say four people on the raft at any time, others could be in the water. Um, and the picnic tables can be used at each of the grill areas. So those are just some things I, I put down that we could do with the park if we were to open it. Um, like I said, the beach area would be broken into two sections. One uh, to the left, if you will, of the lifeguard station and the one on the right, uh, right side. Um, calculations I did roughly, uh, one side could hold about, um, let me see, 90 people. The other side could hold about 60 people. Uh, that's with 12 by 12 grids. On the, in the sand. So we'd have to lay it out so people could be in these grids. I figured that's how many people you could get in the park at any one time. Plus people using or sitting at the picnic tables, so like 10 or so picnic tables might be another five, uh, 50 people. So I'd say the number of 50, uh, excuse me, 200 people would be allowed in the park at any one time. All right. So that's just some things I thought we might be able to do if we were to go, go to open it, which would fall along the guidelines that have been set by the you know, the governor and, and, and the board of selectmen. Um, maybe there's more, some things we can do, but that's just my shot at some things we think we could do. Um, as for the revenue part, um, I did put a, a, I took a quick shot at some of the numbers compared to last year. Um, and I figured we would have no season passes, so there'd be no money coming in there. But on our gate fees, um, I estimated if we had 200 people on a Saturday, 200 on a Sunday, and 200 people for the rest of the week, whether we open the whole week or just Wednesday, uh, say Tuesday through Friday, might be another 200. So I figure we had 600 people in the park per week, um, an average of five dollars per head. That's three thousand dollars per week, open for nine weeks, but excluding five days for rain, I figure we can make twenty-four thousand dollars at the gate. And then money from the snack bar, I just threw in a number of ten thousand, so that'd be a $35,000 revenue for the year. 
on the expense side, um, I have some numbers here. I took some reductions in the maintenance, the lifeguards, and the director, and then the snack bar and others. I came up with um, 43, almost $44,000 in expenses. It would be a, a loss of $10,000 for us for the park if we were to open it. So I think there's some options if we wanted to do it, but are we willing to, to lose the $10,000, which could be more, which again, you mentioned earlier about extra cleaning fees, supplies, and things like that. Um, it's, it's not as great as $30,000 loss, but it is still a loss. Um, and I don't want to throw money around. So um, that, that was my shot at seeing what we could do if we were to open the park with restrictions and the uh, financial impact to the, uh, the park in the town. Anybody got any questions with that? I do. Um, if, I, might as well, if, I might as well go ahead and uh, go into my my uh, opinion at this point. Um, Joe, first of all, both of you guys, thank you very much for doing all this work, going down there and coming up with this plan. I, I think it's a very well thought out plan. And um, I think um, if we had more time and more money, we might be able to make it work. But uh, first of all, as far as the um, the payroll and the numbers here, I don't see how we could cut maintenance by 50%, lifeguards by 25%, and the director by 10%. I think all of all of those, maybe not the director, but um, at least the maintenance is going to be higher. But don't don't forget, uh, Mike. There was we would be actually nine weeks this year, not ten as past year. So that's the 10% for the uh, for the director. Okay. That's how I got that number there. The others, okay. I figured, lifeguards, if you don't have parties, maybe there'd be, I don't know the numbers of how many lifeguards before that. That's, you're right, I don't know. And maintenance, yeah, I don't know. Okay, understood. Um, but um, I, don't, I don't see that we can re reduce the maintenance by that, that much at all, um, or the lifeguards. I, I mean, I just, I don't, I, I, I'm looking at this and figuring out, I think, I think your number for um, gate fees uh, at twenty four thousand is is pretty um, optimistic. Um, I think uh, the town administrator came up with like nine thousand um, dollars. I I think my opinion is somewhere in between. I'm thinking I'd, I would be lucky if we got fifteen or eighteen thousand. Um, and I don't see that the cost would be much less than it was this year, perhaps ten percent less. Um, so I I I figure a much bigger loss. Than nine thousand dollars. I'm looking at I, the way I figured it is somewhere around twenty four thousand um, dollars. But my, my focus, like Scott, is not um, not primarily on the financial end of it. Um, I just want to go through your plan here a little bit. Um, I agree with the fact that um, we can't, we would not be able to do any season passes because it just wouldn't be fair. People would buy season passes and then they wouldn't be able to get in. Um, so that would be a pain to to um, administer. Um, we could do it if we had the people, which is going to cost more money. It's um, who's going to monitor the you know people coming and going. There's going to have to be somebody available by phone uh, all the time uh, is because people are going to be calling up and say, "Hey, can I get in?" Um, who's going to who is going to maintain the grid system on the on the um, on the beach, I just I see this as more costs in maintenance than we have had before. Um, you would put down uh, bathrooms would be cleaned at the end of the day. I really feel that we would have to clean the bathrooms much more often than once a day. Myself, um, the, you got playground equipment can be used if wearing masks. I, I believe in, in um, at least for phase two, playgrounds are still closed. If I'm not mistaken, um, in the raft, I would be. I don't know. I, I don't know how you would maintain social distancing if you have kids swimming up to it, and um, it's, it's barely six feet long. So um, I'm 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 kind of, I'm on the uh, you know I'm, I appreciate the fact uh, that we're trying to make this work in any way we can. However, um, safety-wise, I'm um, I, I just don't feel that it could happen this year. I think we need to take the year off, and um, 
they, you know, maybe we can do some um, maintenance projects down there and um, shoot for 2021. Just my two cents. All right. Um, my opinion on this is uh, I like what the Board of Health said. You know, I, I think we could make it work health and safety wise. Um, they gave a lot of suggestions, but they're all very expensive suggestions. You're going to have a lot of cutbacks to, you know, to implement everything. Um, you, I think you'd have to take away the group outings, the swim, uh, all, all those kind of things that bring in money, you kind of have to take away. I agree, you, you wouldn't be able to do the raft. Uh, so you'd have less people in there. I, I do, I agree that the uh, no season passes also, you wouldn't be able to implement that. You'd make more money on the gate that way. Um, possibly a lot more. Could be close to that 24,000 out. But, you know, it's, that's it's really you know it's not a very conservative number I, I don't think you can really plan for that um, so I, I just think it would be uh, you know health and safety wise I think it, it can be done people would be making their own decisions getting out there if they want to they, you know, nobody's forcing them to but you just I don't see it uh, being fiscally responsible for the town with all the cutbacks that are going on right now so that's where I'm at. Okay. Uh, Nellie, have you received any correspondence in regards to this from anyone? Um, just a lot of people asking if we're open or if we are going to be open this season. Okay. I, um, I mentioned to, to uh, Jesse before we came on uh, live that um, I had seen a, a couple of Facebook posts today where Jesse, uh, the people that had, someone had just asked what the you know, status was. And Jesse was trying to give some information as far as, uh, you know, we had met last week and we're meeting again. The Board of Selectmen spoke about it. And, you know, people, I'm sorry, people are just not very smart when they, they I know I get that Facebook is funny, but, you know, people start saying, oh, we'll just jump the fence and, and go swimming anyway, or, or, uh, or it's a public park and we have a right to do it. Well, you know, we're just out here trying to make sure that everybody's safe and nobody wants to infringe on anybody's rights by any means, but um, everybody has rights and we need to protect everyone. Um, so I guess you're going to get that. You're going to get that. I'm not used to re responding to Facebook stuff very much. <laughs> Jesse, you have uh, a lot of patience. <laughs> yeah, and, and in that respect, I think it, it probably uh, would behoove us to uh, minimize the responses um, only only because it could get yourself into a drawn out situation, um, regardless of whether we open or close. Um, you know, um, the townspeople aren't gonna be happy if, if we close um, and uh, the town hall's not gonna be happy if we open, um, so. Uh, we're, we're in a rock and a hard place here, um, but um, I, I think we have to make a, make a hard decision. Um, uh, just to let you know, uh, Mike, I, and, I, and I'll send this all to you guys. Um, I just found that uh, in phase two, outdoor recreational facilities, uh, pools, playgrounds, spray decks, mini golfs, go-karts, bathing, ca uh, batting cages, and climbing walls will be open in phase two. Okay. Um, so Good. that's new, that's news. So that's, that's good. That's good news. Um, we can open up the one at Ted Williams camp. Um, I was surprised on that. I think when Joe and I were talking last night, I said, well, we'll have to fence off the playground, you know, uh, because, uh, but that was, uh, that was phase one. So, I mean, that's, that's a good thing. Um, you know, things are starting to freeze up, open up, I should say. Um, so um, that being said, um, the main reason here, we do have one other small housekeeping item to take care of after we vote on this. Um, just need to find my agenda just to uh, make sure we're going in order here. Um, do I hear a motion to um, keep Clear Pond open or close it? I like to motion that we uh, close Clear Pond for 2020. And, uh, Second. Yeah. 
So that would be a yes vote would close Clear Pond for 2020. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. And we have a second on that. Is there any further discussion from the board? Okay. This will be a roll call vote. Uh, no further discussion being held. I will ask a roll call member. Um, we'll start with the, the closest one to me, Mr. Joe Kasha. How do you vote? I'm just so I'm clear. What are the, what are we, what's the yes and no mean? Uh, a yes vote will close Clear Pond. A no vote would keep it open. I will vote no based on what I've seen. I think is I think it's risk, like you said, but I think we can put things in place to mitigate it. Um, so I would say, like I would, I would suggest we move it forward to the board of selectmen. But my vote would be no. Okay, uh, Jesse Medford. Aye. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Aye. Aye. Aye, correct. Correct. Uh, Mike Nolan. Aye. Um, uh, so moved. Um, that would be uh, the vote uh, has been to close Clear Pond for 2021. Um, season 2021. And I'm sorry, season 2020, which would be this current June to August of uh, 2020. Um, Nelly, if you could um, send a memo to the uh, Board of Health and the Selectmen and to the Chief of Police, um, because we are going to have to post signs, um, no trespassing signs. I'll order some tonight, unless uh, unless maybe Franklin has some we could borrow. Oh, um, yeah, he might. We can check with that, and then if not, um, I can send him a text, and then if not, I'll have to, I, I mean, we're going to have to order all the way down the gate, all the way down the fence, uh, post some on the beach. Um, unfortunately, that's what we're going to have to do. Scott, the, um, I, I, uh, according to uh, Maureen, the um, chief of police is offered to um, help out with uh, trail cameras. Okay. Yep. I know they had one. They were talking about it last week. That he right. had an extra one that wasn't being used. Um, yeah, um, unfortunately, we're going to have to do that because I know I know people are going to want to go swimming and they're going to jump the fence. Um, there's no doubt about it. Um, but for their own safety, we have to keep them out of there, or at least try. Okay. Um, so what was the vote? Was it two to one, or two to two, or three to one? Nope, two Did to you one. vote? No, I didn't have to vote. Okay. So, um, well, what is your vote? Uh, my vote would have been to close it. Okay. So it's three, one, three to one. So noted, Nelly. So noted. I vote to tie break. Gotcha. Anyhow, we're missing a, we're missing a uh, member. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Um, is there any other old business to review at this moment? Um, we, we have a question from, um, Mr. Ken Lally of, of Samurai Baseball to, um, practice. Um, he was not one of our springtime, um, people. I don't know if we've heard from the other two. I didn't have time to call them, but we had two people. I believe that we had, um, assigned times to in the spring. One was the uh, the Giants and the other was uh, the Rebels, I believe. Um, Mr. Lally is looking for at least one, if not two days a week of practice. And then possibly um, next Saturday or Sunday, one one day from morning practice. Uh, they He said they start playing tournaments the week after. So I don't know where they're playing tournaments, but they can't be in Massachusetts. Um, and if so, we need to talk about, um, a price. Um, does the board feel that we should reach out to the other groups first or just, um, give Mr. Lally some practice time if the board wants to do that? Any discussion? I'll welcome any discussion on that. 
I don't have a problem with him practicing. When he spoke to me, he was asking for a couple nights of practice during the week, like a Tuesday and a Wednesday. Correct. Not, not on the weekend. Did that change? Just just one day, one time, just one time next week because the following week they start tournaments. So he's just trying to get these 17-year-olds um, into ball playing shape um, with as much practice time as he can get. Now he came he came to our a meeting before yes. we had our spring scheduling meeting. Yes. And I thought we but he never came to spring scheduling. Did you say that he decided not to afterwards? Not to not to practice here? Correct. He had some other teams too that were going to play games here. Um and he um decided to go elsewhere. Um this is his high school team and they won't be playing any games here. Uh, they are just strictly a travel team. So he's just looking for some practice time, uh, a couple of nights a week if possible. Um, that would still leave, um, you know, three nights or four nights for the other teams if they wish to, you know. So, I mean, we're not shutting them out um, if we give this to, to Mr. Lally. Um, and of course, if they do so, they'd be playing games during the week. I mean, on the weekends, but um, I'm, I believe that's phase three. So um, who knows when that's even going to happen? Um, I, don't, I don't know what, you know, what that scenario is or what it even looks like. Um, so I guess our, our question at hand is, do we want to, first of all, do we want to contact the other groups or do we just want to uh, give Mr. Lally some time? Your thoughts? And you said he wants to practice, correct? That's all he can do. I thought drills, drills only. Yeah. But 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 uh, well, just a, for clarification, I mentioned practice earlier. You said drills. It, practice and drills are two different things, correct? Because practice leads to scrimmage. We all know oh, that. That's that's oh. what they they cannot do. Okay, but how how are we gonna ensure that you know? Being a coach yourself, you know, practice. You know, drills become practice, become scrimmages. So be care, we we have to be careful on this because if we do it for one, we got to do it for everybody. Well, we have to make the point that if they are seen scrimmaging, they are done. That's this is the this is the govern, governor's rules, They're not my rules. I We're being governed by the state. Um. So I I, I guess would. We can tell anybody that wants to practice is drills. It's, you know, batting practice. It's not running the bases. It's not, you know, five on four, kill right field and play five on four. He can't do it. No, no inter squad, no inter team, no scrimmages, no games. Um, Do you understand that? I I haven't talked to him about that yet. I, I found this online after I talked to him this morning. I will reach out to him and let him know that. Um, but um, I, I think that the caveat is that they can do that, um, but it, it's non-contact. And as I read it, it's limited to non-contact drills. That's it. Exclusively no-contact drills. Define contact drill for baseball for me. Playing a game. Okay. Playing a scrimmage. It says games, scrimmages, and tournaments shall not be permitted for any organized sports activity. I would say trying to throw out a base runner to be contact. Well, then they don't run the bases. Right. I, I mean, we you know we we have to. Take it literally, and 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 yeah, that's that. There's there is room for contact. What if that ball's thrown up the first baseline, and he's trying to field it, and the guy's running? You got possible contact. So, um, you know, uh, I, I I think you know infield drills with no runners, um, batting practice with no running, um, infield outfield practice, fielding fly balls and things like that. Um, but that would be to the extent of it. And that's how I read it here. I'll forward this to everybody. Um, and that's as long as town hall um, 
agrees with this and goes by this. You know, they could, Town Hall and Board of Health could say no. So. I think, though, if we're opening it up to him, we have to contact all the other coaches, too, to let them know that this is an option now. Yep. I mean, we can get the wording down. We can take the wording right from this as long as Town Hall and Board of Health says it's okay. Um, that they're in support of what this phase two limited organized sports activities and programs states, and we can put it verbatim, you know, that there are no scrimmages allowed, you know, and a scrimmage can be two people, you know, you know, in soccer. I mean, that's a scrimmage, two people battling for a ball. There's no contact. That's the best we can do at this point. So okay. that being said, go ahead, Joe. No, I did my, just my question is, so are we going to let, I mean, I, I know Ken came in kind of after the fact, everybody we told no before, do we go back to them first and say, hey guys, this is what you can do. Do you want, you want time? Is that our plan? Open it up well, to everybody first. That, that, that's, that's, that was the first part of my, my, my spiel there. Do we want to contact the other two groups and see if they want to play first? Um, and make sure that they get practice time? Or do we want to, I mean, there's still, you know, five other days of the week that they can practice. Um, you know, he's not taking every night. He's asking for two, for eight weeks. It's only an eight-week thing. I don't have a problem at all with it, but I, 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 I agree with Joe that we, we should probably reach out to softball and baseball and T-ball and anybody else to let them, you know, let them know what's going to be allowed, not allowed. Yep. Nobody, nobody, I'm, I'm kind of amazed that nobody else has um, even contacted us yet. I know. But most, most of them canceled their spring season. Correct. So, which mean which goes through all that goes through the end of the school year. So they they have nothing going until, um, you know, uh, some of these summer travel teams kick in, which would be, you know, the first week in July. Um, you know, soccer, they've all canceled their spring sports, which usually run through the school year, if I'm not mistaken. So you're right. I mean, this is a different animal. This is a travel team he has. And, um, you know, they've set up tournaments starting, I don't know, what's that, the second or third week in, third week in June. But um, I'm, I'm assuming they're out of the state of Massachusetts because Reading this, it specifically specifically says no games, no scrimmages, no tournaments. So, um, you know, at least for the next month, the other teams aren't going to be playing. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to do. We want to reach I'm, – I'm just saying we want to reach out to the two AAU teams and see if they want practice time before we give anything to Ken, or do we want to just – Give Ken two days for eight weeks and charge him a fee. Well, he is the first to ask. We might as well get moving on that. You know, lock him in, and then ask. We can ask the others. Yep. It's probably gonna be a couple of weeks before we meet again, so we might as well just lock him in now. Anybody I else? I agree, uh, Nick. The next thing would be to come up with some type of a, a fee. He's looking for two days a week for eight weeks, plus maybe next Saturday. I don't know what would our normal fee have been on that for eight weeks. Well, our normal fee would include two double headers and a practice day. I forget what we what we constituted the fee. Nelly, do you have that information? So those were for just the changed, AAU right? teams, it was nine hundred. Yep. And that's about well, the charge more time that he's asking for. Excuse me. The, the nine hundred dollars would have been for more time, field time than he's asking for now. Yeah, it would have been for game time. It would have been for a, you know a whole day on the weekend and. 
at least one one day, at least one day during the week um, with the two fields. Remember, we have two fields um, that we're using, um, you know, that they can play on. So that's really, you know, that's 14, 14 nights and, 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 and all day Saturday and Sunday on two fields. So, I mean, e even if we did get the two other groups, there's still plenty of field for them. You know, it's not like we're given kind of, you know, Monday through Friday and, you know, these other groups call up and all of a sudden we got nothing for them. I mean, there is still plenty for them. But do we have to, if, if that's the case, if we have some several um, teams on the same night, with parents and things like that, are we creating a problem? How are we going to manage all those people wanting to watch, stand around, things like that? Um, is that the responsibility of the coach? Is that something of guidelines we have to put out there for well, there, there, fans? There, there, there is a little more here that goes on to say, you know, that there should only be at the most, you know, one chaperone. Both parents don't show up. Both parents don't come. That there's only one chaperone and, and that they stay socially distant. Um, you know, they prefer for them to stay. In this case, they were talking about an inside practice to stay outside or, or stay at their car or at least stay socially distant, you know. Um, I, I, you know, I mean, there, there's, there's, there's guidelines here that, you know, I'll forward to you and you can read them um, that we would have to, you know, outline and, and, and give to them and say, this is, this is the way it's got to be. And if you're okay with it, then, you know, we're okay with it. So I'm thinking if we get 16 nights here, um, we charge them like $25 a day, that uh, a night, that would be 400 bucks. Is that a fair number or is that, is that unreasonable? It's a, it's not like. That's a, right around what I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking four to 500 because, you know, they, they're getting, they're getting a lot, lot less out of their time than they normally would, too. So uh, I was thinking four to five hundred. Okay. 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 Um, my thought was somewhere around two fifty. That was my thought. Um, it's just practice time. Um, that's that's the number. And I let's face it, our budget is blown for this year anyway. Yep. <laughs> but um they are for profit so we should get some sort of fee out of them yep i agree i agree yeah joe so you, you said a, what 250 i i i was thinking 250 just because it's just practice okay i said four jesse said four to five what do you think joe my first thought was twenty five percent of whatever we were charging them, so that'd be like two and a quarter. So I whatever, okay. I mean, two fifty is fine. I think four is a little steep if they're not going to be doing contact drills or scrimmages, which I I question. But anyway, I think uh, four seems a little high. But whatever you guys okay. decide. Two fifty is good with me. I was just throwing that number out there. Yeah, no, it it, it was a starting point. You know, it's a yep. it, it gave us a number for discussion. That's all. Yep. yep. No problem. Well, give us an idea too, um, if anybody else asks us. Yep, absolutely. Ballpark. Yep. Um, do we have a, a motion? Make a motion. We allow the um, samurai baseball team to practice. Was it what Tuesday? Well, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Or Tuesdays, uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, if, you, if it was available, and right now it is. Tuesdays and Wednesdays for sixteen dates for. Um, $250 fee. Second. Any further discussion? Nope. All that being said, all those in favor? Roll call. Roll call. Joe Kasha? Aye. Yes. Jesse Medford? Aye. Mike Nolan? Aye. Uh, that's a unanimous uh, for $2,500 for the days in question, which are Tuesday and Wednesday for eight weeks. And, um, one day next weekend for uh, a couple hours in the morning. Scott, Scott, I love how you just did that. It's twenty five hundred dollars, huh? Oh, twenty five hundred. That's all I heard. Sorry, Ken. Sorry, Add Ken. Add the zero. <laughs> I, let's see. Wait a minute. Oh, I moved the zero. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Scott, are we going to? Obviously, going to have to sign a contract. We should yep. put a note in the contract. Those guidelines. You can cut paste those in there. Yep. We're going to have to practice it. So they sign off on that. So right. we'll, we can hold them to it. 
yep, we're going to have to come up with something. Um, Nelly, I'll forward this to you too, and, and, and you'll see which one I'm talking about. It's the new one, uh, number three. And uh, we'll come up with a little, a little um, extra page for the contract. Yep. Yep. That, that he'll have to sign. Um, and, um, you know, and we'll put, have to put those caveats on the, in there, Joe. I know that they're a little ridiculous, but uh, we have to put them in because that's what the state's requiring. Um, again, tomorrow I will just check with town hall to make sure um, that they're okay with that. Um, and uh, hopefully we can go from there. Okay. Any other items from the clerk? Nothing from me. Any new correspondence? Nope. No new business since last week? I've got some business. Figures. Um, I got some information here from Sarah St. Don. Yep. Um, regarding softball at John Pond, um, there was a meeting, I guess, held with uh, USA Softball of Massachusetts, don't know who that is. Um, and they're looking at getting some, having tournaments um, at the fields. Uh, they have a thing here with how they would social distance and all that. But I guess what you said with the phase two, this, this would not be allowed at all. Not in um, phase two. So, yeah, I will find out from them where they get the information from because they sound, it sounds like to, um, from reading this that other areas in mass are doing this or going to be doing this. So I, I'll follow up them and see what they mean by this here. Yep. But from what you said, it would just be drills. So I will get a hold of them this week. So yep. once again, uh, I'll, I'll do the same thing. I'll reach out to the um, blooper ball people. Uh, if we can open up to like drills, if they want to be doing that, I don't know. I mean, yeah, we'll put, I'll put it out there um, and see, you know, but I would say that's, you know, batting practice and fielding drills. That's yep. about all you can do. You can't be, you know, you start running the bases now. You you got room for contact, um, but you know, usually, you know, they might be able to hold off. And I'm not sure. I haven't seen um, phase three, but um, we'll see what phase three holds. Maybe um, maybe there'll be maybe there'll be games. Maybe they won't. Um, just trying to. Well, let's see. Hold on a second here. Yeah. While you're looking there, Scott, I did have one other piece of news. I turned into Nelly earlier this week, um, roughly $3,100 from the uh, Lakeville Martial Arts Studio. Yep. Which I believe, if Nelly has figured it out, is around six six months of uh, rent. It's, it's supposed to be five twenty five a month. Yeah. Well, he was paying two checks were for twelve. Hundred and thirty-seven dollars and change, and one was for six eighteen and change. Right, because he was paying four fifty. They went up to five twenty-five. Yeah. So. Um. So, it, it, are the checks? Do the checks say what month they're for? One of them does. Yeah. What? What? It says what March, month? Six eighteen seventy-five or something like that. Um. Because for this fiscal for this fiscal year, I believe we're light $2,700. So um, if we could get some of those checks to be at least $2,700, some combination of those checks, and then maybe hold the last, the other one until July 1st for next year, or just because otherwise we'll be short on next year's. Oh, you can't put them in in advance? Well, we can, but then- And it's for July, July's rent? Oh, it's not July's rent anyway. It was only six months. Was well, if you figure it was six months. six months, then then how how much was it? How much how much was it? It was thirty one hundred and change. Yeah, I'm trying to what? get it. I don't have a copy of it in front of my face. It's a little short. Oh. This be thirty one fifty, right? Well, that's what the change is. Okay. <laughs> so that's six months. Yeah. So put it all in. Well, actually, the first two months were four fifty. Yep. Right, right, Nelly. Yes. The first two months were four fifty. They didn't go up on them until um, March. So put it all in. It is already all in. Okay. All right. That's good. Yeah. I mean, 
yeah, so you can reach out to Sarah, but there's there's no tournaments at this point. I don't know where they're getting the information. Um, I'll, I'll follow because I got the stuff here. It looks like it's a official stuff. Yeah, but it's not the governor. Well, came from Massachusetts from someone, so I'll follow up let you know there's, what it is. A ASA can play all the tournaments they want, but if the governor says no. <laughs> I heard the governor's daughter is going to play. Is that okay? Hey, great. As long as there's no contact. <laughs> so Scott, right, we're out. good with letting um, um, we're good with letting horseshoes go ahead and start um, with a limited amount and pickleball starting with a little limited amount. They both had plans yep. in place to keep the. Does that uh, what you have there have any a number? Is it nope. less than ten or less than twenty five? Or it, it still says ten or less. Okay. So I had told them 10 or less before. Yep. So they're going to have to – Yep. Like uh, Horseshoe is going to have to make their league two nights instead of one. Yep. Um, okay. That's why I stopped last night because they um, weren't um, socially distancing um, and they were sharing equipment. <laughs> and I said, you don't want to do that. I said, need to hang on for a couple more days here and – See what the governor says. Don't want to get yourself in trouble. So I said, you know, you shouldn't have anybody on the court next to you. Um, and if you're playing doubles, it should be a walk-in doubles, you know, where you go and pick up your own shoes. Yeah, the plan that they sent to us said that they were going to maintain six feet apart. They weren't going to share the equipment. Yep. So, okay. Yep. So – I, again, I'll, I'll find out tomorrow if we can just go by what the governor says or do we have to wait until town hall or board of health. So I'll find out that tomorrow morning and I will let you all know. And then um, based on that, um, we'll uh, get a draft, have Nelly send out a draft to all the parties and, and then a, a, a separate email to those three parties. Um, that are in question at the, at the present that will be able to play on a limited basis. And it specifically says they will be able to play games, but on a limited basis. And it, iron, it, it picks out um, pickleball and tennis. And in my view, horseshoes is right in the same ballpark with the rest of them. Um, as far as that. Um, so I will know more tomorrow morning. And I will let you all know. And um, we can, Nelly, if you have time tomorrow, um, maybe we can start working on a addition to the normal contract. Yes. Okay. And we can, you know, do one and then just modify it for all the groups. Right. We'll have kind of two separate ones, one for the, those three groups and then one for anybody else that wants to um, possibly practice slash drill okay careful that's a slippery slippery slope there mr scotty well that's what the, that's what the the government paperwork says so it's up to the final call here is up to the board of health and the selectmen we'll just have to put a caveat in there if they can't continue to do it properly then they'll be asked not to play at all okay anybody have anything else Nothing? Okay. Nope. How, how about a, uh, our, a day for our next meeting? Uh, do we want to go back to a Tuesday? After the election. Oh, 16th, 17th is the election. No, we don't want to go back to Tuesday, Scott. No? Oh, that's right. Uh, either Monday or Wednesday. Mondays are best for me. 15th? Yeah, we can go into our office if we have to. Uh, we're, we're probably going to be Zooming anyhow. We'll still be Zooming. So uh, the 15th of June? Yeah. Sound okay? 630? Okay. Okay. Okay, do we uh
I need a motion to adjourn. My motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Go Joe call. Kasha? Aye. Jesse? Aye. Mike Nolan? Aye. Okay. The meeting of the Parks Department is uh, completed at um, 746.